Welcome back, dear friends, dear viewers. Fifth round has been played in Kazakhstan, in Karaganda round robin chess tournament, and we are having the following results in men's uh, section. All the games ended in a draw. Aditya Mittal drew his game against Ansat Aldiar. Sivuk Vitali drew against Aristan Bekurazev. Alexander Rahmanov uh, drew against Denis Mahnev. I drew my game with the black pieces against Ramazan Jalmakhanov. And Alisher Soleimanov uh, drew his game against Merwert Kamalidenova. Let's move to, to the women's uh, tournament and see the results. Yes, we see that uh, Lia Kurmangalieva managed uh, to win her game against Kaldarova Ayalum. Ksenia Balabaeva uh, drew her game against Amina Kairbekova. Uh, Claudio Ku Claudia Coulon uh, drew her game against Elina Danielian. And uh, we see here that uh, Anna Matnadze lost against Yulia Osmak. Uh, unfortunately, still uh, some health uh, issues are there for uh, Munguntul. And uh, she did not really... Uh, play today's game and hopefully she will uh, feel much better tomorrow and uh, will continue her tournament so we see the result uh, we see the draw result but uh, they did not uh, really uh, play it yes let's move and let me show uh, my game against uh, Ramazan Jalmakhanov, uh, 2500 player. I should say that uh, in 2023 I played him in Astana and uh, I lost uh, with the black pieces and uh, he impressed everyone including myself in uh, Grand Suisse of 2023 um, he started 2 out of 2 and he was doing very well even he drew uh, with the black pieces against Alireza so he's a very strong very decent uh, player so I was mainly expecting e4 but I saw that uh, he has some knight f3 d4 and c4 also and he uh, surprised me with uh, first move c4 um, earlier in this tournament against Vitali Sivuk I played e6 so for this game I decided to go e5 and uh, uh, mainly white is uh, nowadays uh, trying in nice c3 or g3 lines or uh, d3 but my opponent uh, surprised with knight f3 move i should say that uh, in this tournament in round one he had himself this position with the black pieces against alexander rahmanov and if i'm not mistaken he played knight c6 alexander went d4 e4 and knight fd2 i knew that e4 is the strongest knight d4 i played knight c6 uh, e3 i played knight f6 uh, and knight c3 um, yesterday I got uh, uh, almost the same uh, structure and uh, almost the same position uh, with the white pieces so yesterday's game was e4, uh, c5, knight f3, knight f6, e5, knight d5, knight c3, e6, knight e4, f5, knight c3 and knight b4 Yes, of course, here uh, white is having extra tempo and knight is on c3. Of course, if we compare uh, to my uh, yesterday's game, knight was on 
uh, b1 and i went knight e5 let's say f4 knight c6 back and my opponent played uh, knight b5 so with the reversed uh, colors yes here uh, i think uh, knight d4 is possible option but after e takes d let's say black is going d5 uh, i knew that bishop c5 also uh, exists and white is going knight f5 uh, short castle and here knight g3 attacking on e4 yes but uh, somehow somewhere i i saw that knight e5 move is possible so i play knight e5 and my opponent went f4 uh, during the game i was uh, considering queen c2 and my point was to go c5 and now of course if knight f5 then d5 comes if you go knight b5 then my point was here to go d5 and let's say if you take knight d5 of course not knight d5 because of queen e4 just bishop f5 and i think black is having more than enough compensation and of course if you take c takes d uh, i think my point was to go uh, again bishop f5 it's bishop f5 here if you go knight c4 um, yes knight c4 bishop takes b5 was possible and even maybe some knight d3 checks i was uh, thinking about f3 uh, but i think here knight d3 bishop d3 takes d and uh, black is having a decent position yes or if you go knight b3 again d5 if knight d5 bishop f5 if c takes d then c4 knight d4 knight d3 bishop d3 c takes d queen b3 let's say bishop d6 this is what i was uh, calculating during the game yes my opponent played a four very interesting move and you know i could go knight d3 but after bishop d3 takes d short castle i wasn't sure how to proceed uh, yes because uh, i didn't want to develop my bishop on e7 or on d6 and i don't think bishop is well uh, placed on c5 yes if bishop c5 uh, at least uh, let's say some knight b3 ideas are there or uh, yes i don't think knight f5 is uh, very dangerous for black i was trying to make d5 work but then i i didn't like much uh, if for example uh white simply takes c takes d and after knight d5 some queen a4 check follows and then I, I wanted to make uh, knight c6 work, but uh, here knight e2 is very unpleasant, and now um, knight is coming to g3, and if bishop b4, b then a3, bishop c3, knight takes c3. Um, I didn't like uh, my position, black's position at all, so I wasn't sure what to what to do here. That's why after spending uh, a decent uh, amount of uh, time, I, I went for e takes f3. Of course, knight takes f3, knight takes f3, queen takes f3, and I played bishop b4. Yes, here my opponent played uh, the move I, I was afraid of, bishop d3. I think the strongest uh, move. Otherwise, uh, it is uh, very hard for white to find a good square for the bishop. If you go bishop e2, then after short castle, short castle, if black is moving the pawn, then bishop g4 ideas are always uh, in the air. Um, yes, bishop d3, I played short castle, short castle, and here initially I wanted to go some c6, but I didn't like knight e4, not, not e4 because of d5, but he has knight e4. And now bishop e7 does not work because here queen f5 almost wins the game. And if you take knight e4 here, even queen e4, g6, this position can be very unpleasant after some b3. Or even uh, bishop e4 can be unpleasant. Also, I, uh, I was uh, considering d6 but did not play because of some knight d5 or even knight e4. I wasn't sure. So that's why I took bishop c3. Of course, b takes c, and I played uh, d6. So my point is being to go some uh, knight g4, knight e5, or knight d7, knight e5. 
if I am in time to to play uh, c5 uh, to restrict uh, one of the bishops, most likely uh, dark squared uh, bishop. Yeah, bishop c2, and I went knight g4. Now I'm threatening some knight e5 or uh, f5, and here my opponent played d4, stopping knight e5. Uh, after the game, he said that uh, he was uh, also considering e4, but didn't play it because of knight e5. If queen e2, there is bishop g4. He wanted to make this line work, like takes, and now d4. White is being pawned down, but uh, white tries to get some uh, activity. But here f f6 works. For example, bishop h6, there is rook f7. If bishop b3, then b5. Not really bishop e6, because of d5. You go b5 and a4, c6. And uh, this is the reason why my opponent didn't play e4. So he went f4, d4, uh, stopping knight e5, but uh, f5 comes. Uh, yes, very concrete chess. Uh, black is trying to stop uh, uh, white getting this uh, center after e3, e4 move. Uh, yes, you could, uh, white could, for example, go something like h3, knight f6, bishop takes f5. Bishop takes f5, queen f5, but I was planning to go some queen e7. And despite being pawned down, I don't think black is really having uh, much problems. Uh, yes, if queen d5, then king is coming to h8. I don't think here even bishop f5 works, because at least bishop f5, rook f5, queen h4 ideas can be very unpleasant. So if white really wants to take the pawn, then h3 and bishop f5 is the best, but I think this is just fine for... Uh, for black. So my opponent went e4, uh, the most uh, principal move. I took it uh, on e4, and here he went queen f8. I don't think queen e4 really works because here queen f6 check is possible, and now you don't have really king g1 or king e2 or king e1. If you go queen f4, or queen yes, queen f4 doesn't make any sense, and you don't have queen f3. The only move is bishop f4. But I think here g5 uh, surprisingly works. So queen e8, there is king g7. And if you take queen h7, king f8, and surprisingly black, black is uh, better. Let's say you go king g1, uh, and I just take g takes f. This is what I I was planning to, uh, to play. That's why my opponent took queen f8. Uh, we traded... Uh, and he went bishop e4, knight f6, and I think here he went uh, wrong. Uh, the strongest uh, would have been bishop d3. And now uh, bishop e6 I was planning to play. And uh, white is probably tiny better um, with the pair of bishops and uh, with some possible ideas to go a4, a5, or maybe along b file uh, put some uh, pressure. Uh, but I don't think it's it's much for uh, for white. Whenever you go bishop g5, I think black is simply meeting uh, bishop g5 with h6, bishop f6, g takes f. Yes, white is uh, white remains um, tiny better, but not much. But I think bishop f3 is just uh, black is getting equality. Uh, immediately after bishop e6. Now c4 pawn is hanging, you don't have d5, bishop g4 comes. If c5, then bishop d5 comes. If bishop b7, then rook b8, and black is taking on c4. My opponent played rook b1 with the intention, if bishop c4, then rook b7, but I played rook b8. And now c5, there is bishop a2, he took rook b7, and after rook b7, bishop c4, a3. And of course, if knight d5, white is having bishop d2, or at least bishop d5, if bishop d5 black does not, uh, white does not trade the bishops. I played king e7 and offered uh, draw. My opponent accepted. Yes, not really king f2 because black uh, has this bishop d5 idea. And uh, bishop f3 is a decent move or even bishop g5, h6, bishop f6, king f6, king f2. And I don't think uh, white is having or black is having anything. So let's go back and start uh, checking the game with uh, with the engines to see where I went. Uh, what did I achieve? 
Yes, I played uh, E4, the strongest. Another move is being Knight C6. And uh, let me just check. Like, why Knight C6, uh, Knight C3? Why not D4? Yes, D4 is, uh, is possible, but you simply go... Even uh, E4, Knight F, D2, F5, but you can just take E takes D, Knight D4, Knight F6. And if Knight C6, D takes C. I see. I played E4, uh, so Knight D4, I played Knight C6. Yes, E3. I played Knight F6, Knight C3. And here, why didn't I play Bishop B4? I saw Bishop B4, but... So g6, knight d4, he takes this c6, knight d5, bishop b4. So knight d4, he takes d, and what about d5? I apologize. Yes, engine uh, says just c6 with the idea to go d5, and white himself plays d5. So what about d5? Uh, yes, not c takes d because of uh, knight d5, just d3. Yes, and e takes d, bishop d3, d takes c, bishop c4, bishop d6. Yes, I see. What about bishop c5? No, bishop c5 does not uh, equalize because of uh, knight f5 and knight g3. And what about bishop b4 if queen c2, queen c2, knight d4, queen b3, a5. Yes, queen b3 or queen c2. So I played knight e5. And here queen c2. Mm, okay, bishop e2. d3. Yes, d3, bishop b4, d takes e, knight e4. So if queen c2, uh, c5. c5 is the only move. And now knight f5, d5, knight g3, d takes c. If you go knight b3, then d5 just works. Knight d5, bishop f5. And if c takes d, you just go c4 and you go knight d3. And you take with the pawn. If knight b5, uh, what is happening? Uh, a6, and here you go d5, and if uh, knight d5, you go bishop f5. And if c takes d, you go bishop f5. I see. Uh, yes, f4. And here, yes, if knight c6, uh, I didn't like knight. Uh, yes, I took, I took on f3. I saw this knight d3, but uh, bishop d3 takes d, and here, yeah, short castle. So, queen, um, just c5. Okay, if short castle, then d5, not bishop c5 because of knight f3, d5, but what about c takes d? Just knight takes d5, and nothing is happening. Queen h5, knight just takes c3, b takes c5, queen a4, c6. Yes, I see. Yes, and knight c6 I did not play because of knight e2, but knight b4 comes. And if knight g3, then uh, c6. And if, uh, let's say, takes, takes d5. Yes, didn't know this and did not manage to. And here, yes, here knight f5 or knight c2 are also possible options. So I took there, knight f3, I took with the knight, queen f3. And here I did not uh, see this c6. Just c6 with the intention to go d5. I could also play g6, I played bishop b4. And yes, here knight d5 would have been some achievement for for white. Knight d5, knight d5, c takes d. Yes, bishop d3. Yes, I could go c6, let's say short castles, a3. I played short castle and again we bought, did not see... But knight d5 uh, is not a like short castle, and here engine says c6. And what if uh, after c6, some knight e4? Yeah, 
Yes, a3 bishop b7, knight e4 takes takes g6. I took there, b takes here, played d6. Yes, and this is slightly better for white. My opponent could just go h3 to stop knight g4, but I thought uh, I can always go knight d7 if I want. h3 so play bishop c2 and uh, i did not play bishop e6 queen b7 bishop c4 i played knight g4 and why knight g4 is bad yes c5 yes h3 knight e5 d4 f5 c5 uh, d takes c queen e4 c5 d takes c queen f e4 f5 queen c4 king h8 h3 knight f6 and what about e4 my opponent ah even not knight e5 queen h4 h3 knight e5 what about this yes d4 f6 and e5 wow i played f5 Yes, h3, knight f6, rook b1, c5, d5, bishop a3, so my opponent pushed d4. I took there. Yes, queen e4 is there, like takes, takes. And you go. Yes, you have many options, like queen f6, bishop f4, and g6 or g5. King g1, g takes f, rook f1. Okay, takes, 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 bishop e4, I play knight f6, and here bishop d3. Yes, bishop d3, bishop e6, bishop g5, my opponent played this, I went bishop e6. And, uh, yes, he could go c5, bishop d5, he decided to play this, rook b8. And, uh, yes, c5, or he took, I took bishop c4, and after a3... Yes. I went king e7 and offered offered the draw. Yes, seems like uh, here knight d3 is the strongest or uh, you can just go knight c6 uh, and uh, knight e2 is not really working or you can uh, go even what I Played, but here you shouldn't go bishop b4, you have c6. Yes, I think somewhere here my opponent, uh, for example, already here he could go knight d5, and uh, c6 would have been stronger than what I I played. Bishop c3, b takes c, d6. This is already close to 0 0.40 for white, and uh, here also he could go queen g3 yes this is already fine for black and uh, let's check the pairings for uh, tomorrow And let's see. Yes, we are having the following uh, pairings for for the next round. Ansat Aldiar uh, will face uh, Merwert Kamalidenova. I'm uh, playing with the white pieces against Alisher Soleimanov. Tennis uh, Mahnev will play against Ramazan Jalmakhanov. Aristambek Urazaev uh, will play against Alexander Rachmanov. And Aditya Mittal will play against Vitali Sivuk. Let's move to the women's um, tournament and check the check the pairings. So 
Mungun Tool uh, hopefully will will feel much better and will play tomorrow against Kaldarova, Kairbekova Kurmangalieva, Danielian Balabaeva, Osmak Kulon and Sultan Bek Matnadze. Thank you very much dear friends for uh, for your attention. Um, for your time hope you liked uh, this video and uh, hope to see you uh, soon thank you